Highlands and Beachwood. They've combined to win the last seven of these titles. So these are the heavyweights. Apologies in advance. I'm going to spoil this. It's an inside the park home run, but I want to put a stopwatch up for Cameron Boyd from the moment he makes contact to the moment he touches home. There's the contact. This guy is moving. You see he cranks it deep to center off the wall. It's bouncing around a little bit. And here he comes around third. The wheels slows down a little bit. Jogs across the plate. Uncontested, no slide needed. Stop that clock at 15.07 seconds. Touched them all. It put Beachwood up 6-1. Highlands got a few back on this bases loaded triple by Zach De Silva. Bounced it over the head of the fielder. Three runs come home, but it is Beachwood that gets to dog pile at the end of the night. They are ninth region champs for the fourth straight season. They win it 6-5. This year, no one gave us a chance with what we had happened, you know, before the season started with, you know, Mitchell and all that. And But, man, these guys just, they worked their butts off from day one. They never felt like we were ever out of a game. I was getting sentimental, and then... You said you were trying to be sentimental. What were you trying to say in that moment? I was just telling them how proud I am of them. I was tearing up before the ice hit me. It just, you know, um, I'm just, I've never been this proud in my life of, of a, a group of kids. You heard coach Kevin Gray there mention Mitchell. He's talking about Mitchell Berger, great baseball player, also a very good running back on the football field. He was hurt during Beachwood's football season, didn't get to play baseball uh, his senior year, but Beachwood goes on to win the ninth region championship. Nonetheless, congrats to Beachwood on their fourth consecutive title.